<laughs> Dinah. <laughs> Dinah is behind this. She's doing this because she's upset that we're going out of town. And you know what? This should be a really happy time for us. And so she's ruining it like she does everything calm else. Calm down. Now, I know Dinah's capable of some bad things, but I'm telling you something. This, this is not her style. She wouldn't do this. You're defending her again. You always defend her. What is wrong with you? You're acting like she's some little girl and she can't help what she's doing, Hart. Oh, Cassie, listen to me. I'm just saying she wouldn't do this. Really? Well, who would then? Who would like for me to disappear, even die? Hell, she tried to run me over with her car. Are you gonna chalk that up to bad breaks? Come no, on. No, I just don't think that Dinah did this. Let me tell you something. I just knew. I knew she was up to something when she caught me with her mother in the park. I knew it. I knew it. Why? What'd she say in the park? She was nice. She was oozing with niceness, talking about peace, love, and kindness, wanting all of us to get along for the sake of her baby, her baby. And all along, she was getting ready to drop this bomb, okay, and I should have okay. known. I know I you're upset. Known. I, I know you're upset. I'm this. upset. And I know you're not Dinah's favorite person, but this is way too methodical for Dinah. This is not her style. You're defending her again. I think she is too impulsive to plan something like this out. I'm telling you. That's what she wants you to think, Hart. She had motive. She hates my guts, okay? She had the opportunity because she works for the media. All she do is call the mirror and say, hey, write this, Cassie's dead by midnight. Come on. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Don't bother calling her. She's just gonna deny it, Hart. I'm not calling her. I'm gonna call the police. Well, thank you. Thank you for understanding. When I get a hold of Dinah, she's the one who's gonna need an obituary. <laughs> Springfield PD, Detective Cooper speaking. Hey, Frank, it's uh, Hart Jessup. Listen, I need your help. Hart, uh, listen, listen, this is about Blake taking a stand at Ben's rape trial. I'm not it's, about, it's about Cassie. Her obituary is in today's mirror. Cassie? What are you talking about? Is she all right? Yeah, 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 yeah. she's fine, she's fine. But uh, somebody, and we think it might be Dinah, Frank, uh, had a fake obituary planted in the mirror. And they made it sound like she was going to be, uh, she was going to be dead tonight before midnight. It's so crazy. Go on. If that's not enough, there was this nursery rhyme on, on a white piece of paper. Uh, Hold on, the nursery rhyme? What, what, they came along with the paper? Is that what you're saying? Did you say nursery rhyme? Yeah, it was a nursery rhyme. I have it right here. You want me to read it to you? No, 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 no. You stay put and let, don't let uh, Cassie out of your sight. We're on our way. Okay. All right, thanks. Bye. What happened? Oh, man, it looks like our psycho struck again. Somebody sent Cassie a copy of her own obituary with this date as her date of death. There's something about a nursery rhyme, something about her own child. What is that? Is Annie connected to Cassie in any way? That she was Reba's sister. Annie hated Reba more than anything. Cassie, you're just a sitting duck. Hold on. Partner, I need you to go over to Lewis's right away. Take a uniform with you. You know what, Frank? I'm going to go, too. You are not going? No, are you no, crazy? No. Listen to me. Cassie is my friend. I'm just going to sit around and do nothing. I don't care. You're not a cop anymore, remember? No, but Terry is. Terry is. I'll be fine. I'll stay out of the way. Partner, I'll circulate this uh, sketch, okay, as fast as I can. And I'll call the mirror and see if we can trace back this uh, fake obituary and see who sent it. All right? Just keep me posted. I will. Come on, let's go. And, and... Hey, Laurentano, let's go. You come with me. Get away, detective. What's that look for? This turn of events must please you no end. Oh, yeah, why is that? Seems you're not the only one who wants Cassie out of the way. I want you to check around outside, look for anything unusual. Uh, maybe the stalker left us a clue. Check. Stalker? What stalker? Dinah's behind this, right? I wish. What are you talking about? What's going on here? I need to see the obit in the note. I threw the note in the trash. Well, the obituary is right here. Cassie Ray Lane, mother. Probably you better take a look at this. Huh. Looks like someone's warning Cassie that she's going to die tonight. Okay. I'm scared. What's going on? You, you think we should take this seriously? I think given everything that's happened, definitely. What do you mean? Wait, wait, wait. What's, what's happened? What's going on? I think you both might want to sit down. Oh. Oh, no. Just, just wait, Cassie. Just hear Terry out. Wait a out. minute. This isn't some kind of prank. 
Given everything that's happened, definitely not. Wait, wait a second. What's happened? Apparently, someone has made Cassie a target. This, this person that we're calling the nursery rhyme stalker. The what? I'm sorry, I don't understand what this Listen, is about here. Apparently, you're third in line. I got a basket of poison fruit. Holly Reed received dead flowers on her doorstep. And now this. Just to make a long story short, I hate to tell you this, but we think Annie Dutton is back in town. Annie? What does Annie want with me now? Whoever knows what Annie's agenda is, but it looks like she's targeting women who've had problems holding onto their children. I gave my daughter up for adoption, and Fletcher took Meg away from Holly. I have Tammy, though. I know, but didn't you lose her to social services in Chicago? Yeah, I... What? She's at a slumber party with Mara and Shane. I'm going wait, to go wait, 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 No, no, no because Annie kidnapped her before. Before you run over there, let me call to make sure they're OK, OK? Carter's the the right Carter's now. number's on speed Listen, dial. He's right. If Annie's watching, you don't want to tip her off, OK? Ha, just Mrs. calm down. Carter. Yeah, hi, it's Hart Jessup. No, no, everything is fine. We just wanted to uh, see how Tammy was. She, she's building a, a jigsaw puzzle. Great. You know, unfortunately, we're going to have to pick her up. She can't stay tonight. Yeah. Yeah, we're sorry, too, but I, I'm, I'm going to come over in a few minutes and get her, okay? Okay, thanks. So far, so good. You know, maybe we should get Mara and Shane, too. Let's not alarm them, okay? I'm, I'm going to post an officer outside the Carter's house. Thank you. Okay, I'm also going to post an officer at the end of the driveway. You hear anything unusual, you let him know, okay? Don't worry. <sighs> hey. I know how creeped out you are, but you are not alone. If anything happens to Tammy, nothing will. Anything happens Cassie, to her. Cassie, listen to me. Nothing will. And nothing will happen to you either, because you know what? You're safe here. There are cops everywhere. Annie cannot get near this place. How'd she know? How'd she, how could she possibly know what's going on? I mean, how could she know what I was going to do tonight? How could she know? What, 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 what is it? Is it a special thing for Tammy tonight? Or no, something? no. It's well, not. I just say that because everything has something to do with people's children. How would she know about the baby? I don't understand how she knows about the baby. I'm, I'm lost. What baby? I'm pregnant. And I was going to tell Hart tonight. OK, OK, so so what do you think you're going to do? You're going to whisk Blake off into the sunset, and you're going to live life on the run? Is that what you think you're going to do? The world is a big place. There are plenty of places to go. And a rolling stone gathers no, no loss. No, 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 you know what? No, no, no. You know what? No, no That's, jokes. No I'm jokes. Not. And you're going to stay here, and you're going to fight this, because all you have to do is tell the truth. That's it. The truth is between me and Blake. That's the only truth that matters. And if I get her away from all these people who are trying to get me and remind her of what we have, Tragedy, then... tragedy, Ben. Tragedy. That is the only thing that's between the two of you. No, 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 no. I love her, and she loves me. She just can't... She just can't bring herself to admit it. Can you blame her? Look at what's happened since the two of you have met. Her life is in shreds. And your life, look, you've lost your career. You're facing prison. If there's anything between you, Ben, it's not love. It's toxic. And if you don't walk away from it, it's going to destroy you both. Beth, it's too late. I'm going all the way with this. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. look, at, look at me. Look at me with Philip, OK? I was so determined that I was going to get him that, that I didn't notice what was going on in his life, namely that he didn't want me anymore. Yeah, but it's different with me and Blake. She wants me. She wants me so bad it scares her. And she can't even walk. She's paralyzed with fear. Oh, my god. You're, you're obsessed with this. Well, so what if I am? We all choose our, our, our addictions, don't we, Beth? I mean, come on. I appreciate everything you're doing for me. But you have to stay away from this right now, because I want that woman. And I get what I want. My Why my brother, my enemy, who has sworn to destroy my family, my career, and my life. Why you slept with the one man that you knew would hurt me. 